Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna, this is my Latin 3 project. I'm basically gonna go through my glossary. I'm just gonna speak the terms. Um, I really, I didn't put signs down because I don't like the look of signs because they litter the house, they litter this um, forum romanum, I guess. Um, but uh, let's get started. So the first term I'm going to cover is steps. Steps are these things. You can walk up and down them. Many ancient temples have steps are um, have steps or steps leading up to them. The Acropolis had steps. There's a there's a nice example of a temple from Nemesis or Nime in modern France um, that has steps. Uh, that one's really nice. A lot of um, like your lesser known Roman colonies in uh, Europe have interesting like temple have interesting very small temples, but they they um, they all have step or many of them have steps. The next term I'm going to go cover is plinth. So um, this this fast case right here is resting, or I don't know what the singular. If that's the singular, great. Um, I'm sorry if it's not. I don't know the singular. Um, the um, the base on which it rests is the plinth. So like statues, statues have plinths, or statues rest on plinths. So that's what that is. It's kind of drawing inspiration from. I think it's the Supreme Court building. I'm not exactly sure. It's very possible because you have like two figures sitting in chairs or whatever. But um, the next next term I'm going to go over is um, platform. Almost certain this is a platform. Um, I could not ver find a definition online. I looked, but this is the most logical explanation for a platform because the platform is raised. Um, uh, so the next, oh, also, here's another example of a plinth. This is a plinth right here. I have several examples of plinths. Um, the next term I'm going to go over is, uh, let's go over acrotarion. Did I say that right? Acrotarion. So um, the acrotariones, I don't know Greek. I'm sorry. Um, that comes from Greek, by the way. I know some Lat I know Latin, so. But um, Greek, I'm not. Um, the only Greek I know is like, prefixes so acro actually means high so they're the highest out of these things that jet out from the ceiling so the acrotarion rests at the highest point on the roof and at the ends of the roof so that's an acrotarion and this is also an acrotarion they're very similar to antif antiphases or the antifix except antif antiphases are located oh my god holy crap A village, sorry, that villager scared, scare me. Um, I'm gonna continue my. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna continue my um, explanation of what an antifix what is. Um, antifices are located on the side. They're not. They're not on top. If they were on top, they would be considered acrotarions, and that's just not. That's just not the case. This is an antifix. Antifix, antifices are on the side. Um, I guess I'll go on to capital now. Or actually, I'll do the columns. Wait. Uh, uh, oh, let me go over entablature. This is important. So the entablature is the... It's very important. Um, it rests like um, it rests on the capitals so of your columns. So I'll start with... To, I'll start with... So this is a column of the Corinthian order. You can tell because it has four steps here. If it had, um, it just it, it looks it looks more similar to Corinthian order than like Ionic order, which Ionic order has two things like um, here, like Ionic order would look like this. Oops, Ionic order would look like that, but um, it doesn't. But th but this is not Ionic order. I I chose um, Corinthian order because Corinthian order is the best order, in my opinion. Um, so the entablature basically rests on so like this whole thing. 
starting from this block and ending about here is the entablature on the um, on the um, and you can see another example of it is over over here with the pan with my reconstruction of the pantheon um, that is that's another um, right here is another example of entablature um, and so um, we'll go back to this one the um, and a, a very specific term um, the cornice is this layer the steps what I use the upside down quartz steps to recreate quartz steps to recreate the cornice is the very top layer of the entablature so interesting factoid um, uh, we'll go on to soffit now soffit is overhang from a roof so um, this these steps on the side these are this is an example of soffit okay um, uh, let's see what else can I go over so I've done I think that's all for this one and tablature Corinthian oh yeah I mentioned how these are Corinthian columns plinth oh um, if you if you want again the capital is the highest part of the um, of a column it determines I guess it determines its order I'm not so sure about that I just know it's just know it's the highest part of the column um, that's 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 what it is um, and so I think that's it for this one um, uh, hmm. yeah I've done antifix Ecraterion so I go, I'll go over arch um, this is very similar to what a Roman arch looks like you can look up um, arches were uh, very common like three of them come to mind Arch of Sepimius Severus the Arch of Constantine the Arch of Titus um, uh, I know the Arch of Titus usually has a freeze right here or like our arches arches sometimes have freezes on them because they're very because they're celebratory in nature for example Titus's Arch celebrates his campaign over the um, or his victory over the um, Jews um, in the uh, no, it's not the Simon Bar Kokhba revolt. That's that's on, that happens under Hadrian, but he conquers he conquers Jerusalem in like seventy A.D. something like that, and he has a frieze dedicated to it, like on the interior of the, I don't know on which side it is, but on the interior of the um, uh, of the arch, and on the on on the on, on the arch of Titus. Um, the freeze has a menorah in it, which is just how you can tell. It's an interesting little thing how you can tell it's the Arch of Titus because Titus was in uh, Judea suppressing a revolt. So this is what an arch looks like. They're often celebratory in nature. I'm going to move on to the next thing. So we've pretty much covered. Oops. Oops. Um, um, so we've covered platforms, steps column uh and uh what's uh capital um so next the next term we'll cover is pilaster so a pilaster or an example of pilaster is um columns in a wall that are there for decorative purpose that for example this column does nothing it's just there for decorative purpose um as does this one this column serves no purpose other than decoration these columns serve structural purpose. This one offers nothing because there's a wall right here, so it's it offers nothing. These are also examples of um, a pilaster because they're built into the wall and they offer no structural support. No, no. Um, uh, here, oh, no, um, no structural support. Here is another example of plinth. Um, this is a plinth because there's a statue right there, and there's a statue over here. Um, so that's another example of a plinth, but that's beside the point. So now we're coming into the massive dome. It's a 30, I believe it's a 30 block in diameter dome. This took me like four hours to make. It took me an insane amount of time. I've never, I'd also never built one of these before. So, but it looks, it's, it looks good. 
Um, so this is a dome. It's pretty much, um, well, the upper part is a dome. The lower part is just circular in nature. Um, this is, if you can tell, this is a recreation of the Pantheon, which um, Hadrian built. Um, it's, I think it was the largest, It's it was one of the largest domes in the world until some, I can't remember the guy, there was some Italian architect that created a dome larger than it after, uh, during the Renaissance period, but that's beside the point. Um, it's, it's a very large spherical structure in nature, so you can go inside, and the difference between this and an apse, which I'll get to an apse later, is um, an apse doesn't look like a sphere from the outside. An apse is actually covered by a cone, so and we'll see that um, later. So this is a dome. Um, let's see. So I've done... Uh, um, so I guess, I guess I'll go to um, my last build. This is a very... This is a church. Um, again, examples of pilaster. Offers no detail whatsoever. Excuse, excuse these bats. Um, this is an example of apps. I didn't bother to light this, by the way, because apps, um, apps is our, um, I read about them and they're Byzantine, from what I from what I read, and Byzantine art is 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 frankly gay. I don't like Byzantine art. It's just it, it's just not as interesting as um as like this. Like both of these builds are both significantly cooler than both significantly cooler than um than like church than like the churches that the Eastern Roman Empire made. It's just Eastern Roman Empire architecture is 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 medieval Greek and it sucks. So here's an example of, um, but I, that's what say the point. Here's an example of apse. What differentiates it from dome is that apse is only on the inside, on the outside. Here, let me th fly through one of these, um, one of the, one of these windows. Apse is covered in a giant cone. That is how you know it is an apse. Um, oops. Um, so an apse is covered in a cone. So believe it or not, that sphere, darn it, is covered by uh, this by this cone right here, um, which is interesting. So I'm gonna now go on to the last term, which is um, uh, I always mispronounce this one, clerestory windows. So. Um, these are clerestory windows. All a clerestory window is, is a window that's elevated to provide light, which you can see it, it, it is doing. Um, a window that is elevated that provides light. So you can't really look out of them. Oftentimes, they're, they're like, you go to churches, like many churches have these, um, especially if you're going to like a really large church. That's like... These are all these are all things that might be characteristic of large churches. So I just built like a stereotypical church building. But I, I okay. Um, uh, so like their 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 purpose is to bring light into a building, and they're built up high, so you can't really look out of them. I mean, you can look out of them, but you're just looking at the sky. So like you'd have pews here and stuff like that. But I, I could not feel bothered to put in pews put pews in this church because it's just it's not the same as decorating decorating this. Like you can feel the power of Rome. Like building this pantheon, I could feel like I was overcome with with just pride to know that I'm ascended. From people who built freaking awesome structures like this, and uh, I don't know, I don't know when the Pantheon was built. It was built by Hadrian, so in between like one seventeen and one 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 
130 something, 130 something, like 138 or something. What, wh whatever. Like, this is so much more cool than a church. I'm sorry. Not to, not to, like, not to rag on Christianity or anything, but, like, per myself, I am a Christian, but, like, building churches is so much more lame than, like, this. Which is why I didn't, which is why I couldn't be bothered to decorate this, because it's just boring. So, um... Clara's story windows. I pronounced that right. And I think that is everything. Let me just check one more time. Um, like usually, usually in an app, so there would be, this is where the altar is. And up here, they'll have like a portrait of Jesus and he's looking down and he's got a, he's got a halo on his head and you, or, or you have like the 12 apostles like surrounding, surrounding like, but I, I, I've, I've only ever seen photos. I'm not Greek Orthodox. So, but um, th those are, I mean, like the, the, the murals and stuff are at least interesting because it, it provides a window into, um, early, early, early Christianity, which is the only interesting part about this. So, um, uh, I'm just going to go, I'm going to check my covered, um, apps. I covered arch, I covered dome, covered antifix, I covered acroterion, capital, plinth, Corinthian column, pilaster, entablature, cornice, soffit, and clerestory windows. So yeah, I covered all my 15 terms. Um, oh, and here's another example of steps, but this is, these are not like the steps you see on more classical architecture. This is, this is just like, I don't know. I, I couldn't really think of, I couldn't really think of a decent step design, but I've been to like, uh, my uncle's Catholic, so I went to my cousin's christening, um, and the steps at that church were like this, so I just modeled those, modeled these steps after those, um, and then I couldn't really find anything that looked like bricks for the form Romanum, I guess, um, uh, but... Um, the, these bricks here are N, are bricks, are end bricks. If you've ever played Minecraft, you know that's, they're from the, the end. Um, I tried, I originally tried bricks, but they don't, they, they suck. They, they look, they look ridiculous. They look stupid. They just look stupid. So I, I did not, I could not be bothered to fill this area in with bricks. Like, no, it just looks stupid. These look so much better, given what I'm supposed, to, what, given what I'm trying to accomplish, and I feel that I accomplished that. Let me explain the banner. The um, so this banner is um, a custom made. I had to use. Um, I modeled it off of. Um, uh, uh, some scutum designs. If you don't know what a scutum is, a scutum is basically a Roman shield. So. Um, a legionary shield so um and it it has many different iterations but um uh 1.14 makes you 1.14 make minecraft makes you use the loom but i digress um i was feeling particularly patriotic so on these other builds you will find them literally everywhere um you'll find them in front of these statues oh also on the pantheon um uh, uh, the Pantheon has great, like, has, um, uh, I tried to keep it as accurate as possible, so they have, they have statues of people on the inside, so I just took armor stands and put, um, iron armor on top of them to make them look like they're, like, white marble statues, um, and then this is just my own taste, because I think it looks cool, but, um, uh, and then I just put these flags everywhere because I just I was just filled with Roman pride because I am descended from Roman people, so which is really cool. Like <laughs> it's really cool, um, which and and it's why I put them on all of these things. So um, uh, I that's I've explained everything I want to explain. So um, thank you, Mr. Walker, for. Um, Looking at my project 
for um, for grading this. Thank you for being a, a good Latin teacher. Thank you for letting me do this. Like, I'm surprised. I, I'm honestly surprised you let me do this. Thank you. I hope. I hope you. I hope you enjoy it. I certainly did. I certainly enjoyed this. This was re this was really fun. I hope you can tell that I I put a lot of effort into this. This total um, aggregate time. This is probably two to three days worth of like nonstop work. So um, I do not have two to three days of um, time where I can just sit and um, I can't just I can't just stay up for what, 72 hours, but this is probably around 72 hours aggregate time over, spent over, uh, five or six days, so, it's, it's a fair amount of time a day, so, um, thank you again for, uh, grading me on this, um, um, again, my apologies for not using, for not using, um, uh, 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 signs, because signs literally look like crap. Here, um, sig, no, yeah, um, here's, here's what a sign looks like for your reference. That looks stupid. That looks stupid. That's, that's the, that's the dumbest thing ever. Why I didn't put signs. Thank you, um, uh, have a good day. Bye.